Hello and welcome to another World of Warplanes video and today we thought we'd play something different so we're going to be using the Type 91 and we seem to be playing on a new map called Harbour Is it a new map? I think it is Or does it just look different to me? It was very similar to that other one What do you call it? I don't know I'm hoping the uh, sound levels are going to be better because the last videos that I've done I've noticed that my voice hasn't been that loud so I've turned the game down and I think I've turned the voice up although I can't actually hear the game now so I'm not really too sure what's going on that's better don't know right so I haven't actually played World of Warplanes since they did the um, testing run so it's gonna be interesting I just haven't had the time to play World of Warplanes really I've had lots of things happen like shift changes at work and um, other things that I've been doing I've been rewriting the website for my clan and that's not even finished I've been setting up admin controls for my battlefield servers and all integrates with databases and all this cool stuff and I just haven't had any time at all to play World of Warplanes I've been concentrating on all the battlefield stuff and then uh, about three or four days We'll be concentrating on my Call of Duty 4 servers again. So we're moving on to a new dedicated server. Um, so I've got a lot of stuff to do with that as well. So that's going to be interesting. So I'm not actually going to have that much time to play World of Warplanes at all. But when this is all set and I've done everything that I wanted to do, I should have loads of time to do World of Warplanes stuff and. Maybe I can stick a forum of it on my website and, I don't know, like a custom uh, TeamSpeak channel for it so that everyone can join and play together or something. I don't know. Whoa! Okay. That's, that's the kind of eventual idea. Of what's going to happen. I wish they'd put back to hangar at the top. So that was me getting two kills in the Type 91 and then dying because someone obviously can't fly an aeroplane. Well, partly my fault as well because I thought he would go down so I go went up and he decided to go up so he crashed. But apart from that, let's try the uh, FW159 because I haven't had any time to even go up the uh, new tech tree for the German jet apart from the test servers. And this was actually a pretty good tech tree up up until kind of the jet bit then started getting a bit rubbish so but once I get the FW uh what's it called the Focke Wolf 190A I think I think it was the A1 we should be kind of set I like that aeroplane it's a really nice one but unfortunately we have to go through these although you know, the FW 195 is a 195 one 159 is a pretty good aeroplane as well. I just haven't got any upgrades for it. I've just got two measly guns at the front. Although, actually, no, I lie. I have got all the upgrades for it, because I have the upgrades from the BF-109 series that I was doing. So, I have guns and things and engines from that tech tree, which then carry over to this tech tree, so I don't have to unlock them. Which is quite good. Means I don't have to wait so long. Climb with my boost. Five, four, three, two. There we go. I like this aeroplane because it's quite manoeuvrable. It's slightly different as well with the uh, mono wing at the top. That's quite a good view. Look at that. 
think we should probably concentrate on uh, what's happening now rather than what my airplane looks like. Uh, there's one over there, one down there. Now I would go for that person down there, but this guy's going to come for me now. Dive and turn. He doesn't know what I'm doing, which is the main object. Now I'm on him. Aha! My FPS, I think my FPS is dropping, I can feel it going slowly. Come on, mate. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know if that guy wasn't was pushing his uh, aeroplane to its full potential, but I felt as if I was able to outturn him. That's unusual. Thought I'd be doing more damage to him, but okay. The engine has failed. Uh oh. I think we're probably dead here, guys. Going up is probably not the best idea with no engine. Six. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, come on. That's a bit of a. That's embarrassing, that is. Really embarrassing. Well, there's no point in watching everyone else in the last hangar. I feel as if this is loading slower. Maybe it's just me being impatient. I don't know. Hawk 3. Okay. How much XP did I get for this? 566. Um, what was this? This was Japan. A4N. Can I get this now? Ooh. Yeah, whatever. Really? Do I not have to pay any, uh, yeah, you know, the research price for it or what? Oh, okay. Maybe I do. Well, that one was rubbish anyway. Let's go with this one. Let's buy it. Oh no, of course I have to sell the other one first. Oh, I hate all this. Why can't they just give us free slots? Sell. Yeah, thank you. Right, store. We'll take tree even. Okay, here we go. Change the ammunition because the ammunition is always crap. Ah, standard. Armor piercing, of course. Cool beans. Right, let's fly this aeroplane. I haven't actually played with the jet planes that much because they never really interested me. Only really because I like to get stuck into dogfights, and normally I get shot a lot. And really, the Jap planes aren't really good at getting shot a lot. El Haluf. 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 Hal. Haluf. Haluf. Hmm. This guy's got the same airplane as me, but with upgrades. I haven't played this map in ages. I haven't played this game in ages. So I can't really say I haven't played this map in ages. But I haven't. Look, I've got like a little flowery star. For doing nothing. Six. I went on a of tanks yesterday. I uh, repaired my Tiger tank, and then I went in the game. 
and I had loads of other tanks around me and they're all getting picked off and I was just kind of sitting there in the middle and you couldn't shoot, shoot these other tanks that were shooting us because we couldn't see them and then I died and that's what aggravates me about World of Tanks because it's not real well okay it's a game but by not real I mean if they can see you then why can't you see them because surely the game should be as good as say a real person's eyesight rather than anything else it just seems a bit silly really and especially with things like the tiger tank because they cost more to repair than you actually get out of the game if you lose it so if you die enough times you won't have any money left at all and then you can't play the game which thus makes it pointless and it just doesn't become fun anymore so I'm hoping this new uh, War, Thun War Thunder Ground Forces thing is going to be quite good. I was watching one of the videos of, of the gameplays for it, and uh, the way the damage works on it seems pretty cool, because it's not health points, it's where the bullet has actually hit the tank. So I reckon you've got more chance of surviving, which would be good. Ah, oh, today isn't going that well, really, is it? If not, we'll have one more go in the BF-109. And then... If we die... I'm just going to stop playing. We'll come back another day. Now I've got to sit and wait for this to load again. There we go. Oh, a few level fives versus a billion level sixes. It's going to be interesting. What annoys me about people on this map, on this side, is they all go towards the enemy flag on the map. And so you get shot out of the sky by their AAs and the ships, and then the whole team just loses because everyone flew to the wrong place. So I don't really see the point. Sure, I love the beer kind of night. Such a great play. Four thousand feet. I've got some uh, leftover videos from the test servers for all of the British heavy bombers or heavy fighters, and some of the other jets as well. I can't remember which ones, but at some point they'll be uploaded. The only thing was that when I watched them back. The, uh, the volumes, like the game was louder than my voice, so they're not really that clear, um, which was a bit of a shame really, but there's nothing I can do about that. But I'll put them up anyway, because they were, they were quite good. I went all the way up to tier 10, so... You'll get to see their aeroplanes if you haven't seen them yet. Look, the whole team's gone over this way. I reckon the rest of their team has gone round the back of us. Yeah, they have, haven't they?
It makes it quite hard actually, uh, this map with the boats on one side for the enemy and then our ground forces on the other side because the boats always seem to be slightly more powerful than the ground stuff. Now we're at 8,000. Oh, he's high. He better not come down on top of me because that's well, that would be exactly what I would do. Let's go on top above him then. Alright, now I've sold it. We can go and get someone else now. That's a stupid thing to do, by the way, guys. Don't do that. You'll just get shot. I'll probably get shot in a minute because it would have come down on me. Oh my god, FPS drop. 19 FPS. It's worse when you get to the ground. I wish they would fix this. I know I keep moaning about it, but I wish they would. It does my head in. Ow. Oh, this is a proper dogfight, guys. I'm enjoying this. It's just like a mess. A mess with bullets and planes. Pretty cool. That's another load. Critical hit! Critical hit. Enemy yeah, we won't go. That's the better way to do that map. Everyone fly like that every single time. One team go one way, one team go the other, and then meet in the middle. Right, well, I think that should be the end of this video. We've had quite a few aeroplanes that have been flown today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then uh, thumbs it up and subscribe and whatever you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know what I'm actually going to name this, because I've flown quite a few aeroplanes. So, we'll have to find out. Well, you guys already know what I've named it, because you're now watching it, but I don't know yet. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.